Hey guys, starting the evening off with the Spark shopping order. Now it's a good one, $19.65. Now the miles are higher, which I will explain. 8.9 miles. They just want a few items like some bananas and some muffins. So hopefully, you know, the only concern is the produce. I'm hoping the bananas are in there. So the thing is, I was over by another Walmart that's probably like 10-ish minutes from where I'm at right now. I'm at the Walmart. When I got this order and I'm thinking, they're having me drive all the way over here and the customer is actually closer to the other Walmart which I was over in that area it's bizarre that they sent me all the way over here like I said it's just a few items like some of those muffins and some bananas so if you guys have done the shopping or maybe even the pickup orders have you had it where spark sends you like to another Walmart further away from the customer I'm like why not the other Walmart unless they were like out of the muffins or bananas that they wanted I don't know anyways we're gonna go in and hopefully they have everything make this quick so I'll have to go back towards the other Walmart that I was closest to earlier where the customer is um, but overall it's just a few items and the pay is good and it's gonna keep me within my area so this is a must to take we're heading in All right, guys, I'm in this store. I'm gonna go ahead and start shopping. And like I said, there's some muffins and uh, bananas. So should be quick and easy. So we're gonna get the muffins and uh, get this done quick. All right, guys, I have found the muffins and they just want one of these. And I think I see that one right here. No sugar. And that one's trying to fall on me. Um, a scan barcode. Let's go ahead and scan this. And we're good. Now we need three of just the regular blueberry, which are right next to it. I'm gonna confirm, confirm. All right, to the bananas, which are just like an aisle over. So super easy, we're heading there next. All right, bananas, and they actually have some, so that is good. Looks like they want 15 bananas. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab 15 bananas. And that should be 15 right there. I guess I gotta weigh them. Once the weight. So weight is 6.72. And I'm gonna type in 6.72. Confirm. Confirm. Are you done? Yes. I just got to go find a bag for these. All right, we're good. I'm going to go bag these up and then we'll proceed to check out. Proceed. Continue. Next, enter bags. Where are your bags for the Spark? Uh, oh, customer service. Oh, they're up at customer service. Okay, yeah. thank you. Mm -hmm. So this location, I got to go to customer service. Uh, enter bags. I'm going to say... We'll just say four to be on the safe side. And scan. All right, so we're good. We're heading to customer service. Hi, can I get four bags for Spark? Awesome, you thank you. You're very welcome. Um, all right, got to the bags. I'm going to bag it up and we're out of here. All right, guys, super, super easy shopping trip. The bananas looked good. There was plenty of them. The muffins were there just super smooth as soon as I came through the entrance of the store everything I needed was to the right um, the only thing is at this particular location you still got to go to customer service to get the bags whereas my other location where this customer is actually closer to the bags are like right there by the self checkout for us spark drivers to grab which is super nice and convenient luckily there's nobody at the customer service desk um, so they were able to give me the bag so we are bagged up customers 21 minutes 8.6 miles we're on our way all right guys orders dropped off now two things with this order 
as you know it was like higher miles so it took me a little under an hour to from the time I got it to drive to the store to shop for the order to drop it off um, if there was more items for this order it would have not been worth it um, because you're in the store shopping for it and then you still have to drive it was 20 minutes for me to go drop this order off from the further store it doesn't make any sense why it wasn't at the closer store it would have been a lot quicker but it is what it is it still paid decent but if there was more items and it took me over an hour to complete this order for $19 and some change it definitely would not be worth it unless it's like super super dead out here and uh, it got my wheels to move in anyways it's dropped off off. It started me off for the evening. Now I did end up getting an Uber Eats order for $2.50. That is an absolute no. You guys already know for 3.1 miles. So after I declined that, Uber Eats sent me another order, $7.11 for 3.8 miles. I am here right now. It's for Jersey Mike's. We're going to go in and get this order. Hi there. Thank you. Yeah. You too. Order was ready, sitting on the shelf for me. Customer is seven minutes, 3.2 miles. Now they did leave some notes not to ring the doorbell and to leave their order on the bench. I don't typically ring the doorbell unless specified in the notes or maybe it's raining and the food's out in the rain and I don't want it to get wet. Then I'll ring the doorbell. We're on our way. All right, guys, another smooth drop off. Um, the bench was there. You know, sometimes uh, the customer will leave notes to leave their food on a table or bench and you're looking around and it's not there. Then you wonder if you're at the right address. Um, it was there, so all is good, which reminds me, customer notes. I forgot to mention on that Spark order, the customer had left notes for me to get extra large sweet potatoes. I think that's an old note regardless. Um, it wasn't in the shopping list, so it is what it is, but that's not the spot to put, um, um, you know additions to your order anyways um, I have declined a DoorDash order five dollars 4.2 miles and then after I declined that order uber eats sent me an offer for three point three miles for seven dollars and seventeen cents for Mediterranean restaurant I am here right now and so like I said that Walmart order I kind of had to go across town and then I was like, it's going to take me kind of back into my area. So that's why I took it a little further away, but not too far. And then the Jersey Mike's order brought me closer back to where my other Walmart is. So it kind of like the whole thing looped me around, which is really, really nice. Um, so I am here at this restaurant. Hopefully the order's ready. We're going in. Oh, did I? Okay. <laughs> After the rush is finished. Oh, really? Okay. So it was busy earlier. Okay. Yeah, it was very busy. Okay. Oh, everything was good. Was it? Okay. Yeah. Have a good night. All right, guys. Order was ready sitting on the counter, but I had to ask him because it looks really like quiet and almost dead in there. There's hardly any cars in the parking lot. So I was like, is you guys been dead today? Um, but it sounds like they already had their rush and it is what it is, but I'm happy my order was ready. We're going to go get this dropped off. Six minutes, 2.2 miles. All right, guys, the order's finally dropped off. So when I get into the apartment complex, the pinpoint is on the office and um, that's not where the drop off is. The customer did leave notes of their building number and how to get to their building um, because I guess they are fully aware that the pinpoint puts the driver at the office. So that is super helpful um, that they were on it. And they also messaged me too to you know read the notes. They know that the pinpoint is uh, in the wrong location. So I'm following their notes and there's like multiple entrances at this apartment complex but I'm following their notes and I'm like I don't even know if I'm heading in the right direction I probably should have checked out the map 
luckily enough me following just their directions to the back took me right to their building which worked out perfect there was a parking spot right out in front so i pulled in got the order dropped off so it ended up going well super nice of the customer to leave notes because sometimes you know they don't leave notes and one you're trying to find the map or two you know you're lost and then having to go find the map it can get confusing and complicated sometimes with these apartment complexes so thank you for leaving some really good notes so after i dropped that order off i did get an order for pf chang's for ten dollars 74 cents now i am here right now but here is the thing uber eats has sent me a couple of add-ons and they have not been good add-ons at all here's a couple of them two dollars and fifty cents for 0.6 miles now the miles are really low but the pay is not even worth even considering because you do got to take into account the possible wait time at a restaurant maybe difficulty finding the customer it's just not worth two dollars and fifty cents for your time the other one that they sent me was two dollars and fifty nine cents the two dollar range for one mile and I'm just like, absolutely not. And these are like at different restaurants too. Again, you gotta take into consideration the possibility of running into issues. You wanna make sure the offer is worth your time. So that was an absolute no. And I think they're sending me another one right now. They sure are. <laughs> Hear this one, $2.50 for zero miles. I ain't taking that even if it was for zero miles. Again, what about the possible issues you could possibly run into? That is an absolute no. Um, yeah, I hope nobody is taking any add-on for $2 because again, um, eventually something is gonna happen. You're gonna get stuck waiting for the order at the restaurant or you're gonna have difficulty finding the customer. So yeah, that is a no. So I'm here at PF Chang's. I'm gonna go in and get my order, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys right here. Always so appreciate you guys writing along with me. And of course, if you guys did enjoy the video, do give the video a like, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.